fuck Microsoft. I went to go play the new Microsoft Flight Simulator today, and I couldn't, because that game is for Game Pass, but only Game Pass for PC, and I have Game Pass for Xbox. I hate Microsoft. I hate how greedy they are, I hate how sneaky they are, and I hate how they have all this goodwill for things that don't deserve goodwill when there's other people doing things better. And I want to talk about some things that they don't do good that other companies do good. Um, for the first thing is, look at xCloud. xCloud was announced to be included with Game Pass Ultimate this last month. Phil Spencer came out touting xCloud, it's great, it's full streaming for all Game Pass games, I believe, and it's going to be included with their Game Pass Ultimate account. The Ultimate one is the one that combines Xbox Live Gold and Game Pass, so that's $15 a month. Now, let's go ahead and look at their main competitor in streaming, no it's not Google, PlayStation with PlayStation Now. PlayStation Now is $9.99 a month and includes all streaming on 800 titles or more and also lets you download PS4 and PS2 games. So it sounds a lot like Game Pass except for $9.99 you get that streaming and download for PlayStation. Over on the Microsoft camp from what they're saying you have to spend $14.99 to get that gold, that streaming, and that Game Pass. Is it a good deal still? Yes, but if you don't want Xbox Live Gold and you just want the streaming, you're going to have to either buy the streaming outright, which I don't know if they are selling that outright. I imagine they would be for like $10. Or you're going to have to pony up $15 a month to get that ultimate deal. So in the end, you are paying more. And let's not forget who made online have to be payable at the beginning. Like who made online have a fee? Microsoft. So that's my first thing, is that xCloud is trying to act like it's being super pro-consumer when in reality it's doing things that the other competitors are already doing and it would have taken 2.4 seconds after release for people to realize, hey, PlayStation Now has all this stuff with all this much better deal and Xbox is making us pay more for it? And even now they're still kind of doing that, but people are letting them buy because they're giving you the illusion of a good deal. They make a bad deal and then they give you a better deal. It's a thing companies do all the time. You take a look at Walmart, you go in there, things cost $9.99, but they're constantly on sale for $5.99, $6.99. That's because it costs the company a dollar to buy it, and then they jack up the price, and then they lower the price to give you like to make it look like you're getting a good deal. That's what Microsoft's doing here. They're giving you xCloud, but then they're saying, but wait, if you get this bundle, it's a great deal. Look how pro-consumer we are. And then that leads me to Game Pass itself. Is Game Pass a good deal? Yes, it is. You get the new games day one, sometimes even earlier. It has a rotating library of games. It's not that bad. It's fine. Is it the best on the market? Absolutely not. PlayStation Now doesn't get the rap that Xbox Game Pass does because it doesn't include those new games day one. And those new games day one is a great headline, except when you actually just take a second to look what you're actually getting it's not really that great of a deal. If you take a look at Microsoft's new games in the past five years, it can think of only a handful that are actually worth anything. Maybe like Gears of War and maybe Halo, maybe Ori 2 definitely, Cuphead which is on everything now, and maybe Sea of Thieves. That's about it. So that's five games and you can say well yeah if you would have bought the games instead it still would have been like cheaper except if you've been paying for Game Pass every month for five years that's 120 a month or 120 a year if you're doing the ten dollars a month um, and then that's five years that's like six hundred dollars there's five games that came out half of them cost like twenty five dollars are you really getting a good deal it's on optics play with Microsoft it's always the illusion of a good deal PlayStation now their top competitor sorry Google has way more games. No, they do not give you free games. Um, or I shouldn't even say that. They don't give you brand new games on release. If God of War is coming out, you're going to buy God of War Day 1. Sorry. My PlayStation feels like their games are better than that to be put on streaming Day 1. Also, they know that they're going to sell 15, 20 million units of it, which is a lot more money than they would get from just making everyone pay for a subscription, which people are already going to pay for. So... PlayStation now has 800 plus games, I believe, PS2, 3, 4. The only thing that Xbox has over it is that they can let you download all the games. 
PlayStation, you can download PS4 and PS2 games. But if you just take those games that you can download, if you don't want to stream, that's still more than the entire Xbox library combined. Or the, the entire Game Pass library. Those PS2 and PS4 games combined are more than the Xbox Game Pass library. There we go. Um, I really do fault Sony for all this. I feel like it's their fault that um, people look at Xbox Game Pass as the big thing because they don't advertise PlayStation now at all. They did a great thing by making it $9.99 a month, but they need to do more with it. And I really feel like that if PlayStation would kick it into gear and start really advertising it, that would make Microsoft actually make Game Pass good. Like, it's not good right now. It could be so much better. It's a good deal, but that's it's all an illusion. It's all deceptive. It's it's all them. It's marketing. That's all it is. Is marketing. They want you to act like they're doing something good. They want to preciously saying, "Hey, X Cloud is going to be included with Game Pass now to get goodwill." Even if PlayStation Now has had those combined forever, like ever day one since they were going to let you download games, they never ever ever gave off the illusion that you're going to pay separately for that. It was always going to be included from the second that they did it. Microsoft, on the other hand, wanted to act like they're selling you another product just so they can be like, hey, we're going to include it now with something else, even though that product is now more expensive, if that makes sense. Um, the last thing that I really hate about Microsoft, this is kind of a I hate Microsoft thing, is that um, they suck ass. Fuck you for having two game passes. I hate you. Not enough people talk about this. PlayStation Now is available on PS4 and on PC, the same subscription. You can stream every single one of those 800 games on PC for that one subscription. Then you can turn around and stream it on your PlayStation or download it to your PlayStation. Microsoft, they give you about 10 games that you can play on PC, 10 random games like Sea of Thieves or Power Rangers or Pandemic, the board game. Like They're just random fucking games. And then if you want the other PC games, you got to buy Game Pass for PC. So if you were to get all their subscriptions, you're paying around $25, $30 a month now for subscriptions for a console. It's ridiculous. Um, but they pad their games too. They pad their list. If you go on the Xbox Game Pass list right now, there are games on there that aren't coming out for months. I'm looking at you, Dragon Quest XI. They put games that aren't even close to release on there, so it looks like they have more games than they actually do. And shit like that pisses me off. It is war it, it, They're liable for false advertisement by showing that they have games on there. And it doesn't say, like, coming soon on the front or anything. It's just the game. And once you click it, you can even download it. And it's like a very small download. And once you click it, it says, coming soon, that's it. And most people would know that, would know that like, hey, Dragon Quest XI, we know it's not coming out till December, but children out there that get Game Pass and stuff, or unknowing adults, or just people that aren't into the gaming ecosystem might not know that much about stuff like that, and they might not know that these games come out later, and they are like, oh, look, that's on Game Pass, I'm gonna get Game Pass, and they download Game Pass, and they go to play the game, and they see the fucking game's not out till December. Fuck you, Microsoft. You're greedy bitches. Have a lovely day, everyone. Goodbye.